great job. I know everybody's excited because they get to put something in the time capsule today. So the great thing about this assembly is fifth graders are going to be reading the assembly. And so they have been in charge of planning it. They've been in charge of doing a video. And they even been, have been in charge of singing today. And so we're going to start out with Ava Leleski, if she would please come up here. She's going to start off the assembly today. Okay, how are we all doing today? Good. Hey, good. Okay, so everybody in here has done project-based learning things. I mean, it's epic. Of course we have. But one of the projects that went on this year that not everybody knows about is that there was a school song contest. And there were a lot of people that entered, so let's have a one little round of applause for the people that entered. It is seriously the school song that kindergartners, you guys are be singing all of your days at Epic. So this is our school song, and actually I was one of the contestants and I wrote this song, and that's why I have the privilege to come up and sing it for you guys today. So the first time I'm gonna sing it by myself to get you guys to get the melody, and then after that, you guys can join me, okay? Go explorers, go for Epic.
hard to believe that we're almost done with our first year at EPIC. All of you have had so many accomplishments and we are so proud of your work. We want to remember all of your hard work for years to come. So the fifth grade class decided to create a time capsule. A time capsule is a container that holds objects we used and made this year and keeps them safe for many years. It shows how ideas and people change over time. Each class will put two to three objects into the time capsule that represent what you did this year at Epic. Then, when this year's kindergarten class graduates from high school, 2028, we will open it up and reflect back on all the things that we did this year. This time capsule will show where Epic was when it started and how much we grow over the next 12 years. I can't wait to see what Epic is doing 12 years from now. Okay, we are gonna start with Dr. Schmidt, who's gonna put some items in, and then we're gonna go with second grade so they can head to the zoo, okay? Okay, let's start out. We want everybody to know how we started the school. So when people come to the school, we hand them this pamphlet that has lots of your pictures in it, and it talks all about project-based learning. So we're gonna put that in the time capsule first, because you know what? It might change a little bit by 2028. Okay, the next thing we wanna put in, when we invited the community, remember we invited the community here? So all those people came to see the great work that you did. We're gonna put that in there too. We're gonna put our invitation in there. They may be inviting people to do something in 2028. So they wanna see what we did, they can look at that. Also, when your parents came to see what Epic was about, we gave them this little flyer. It says who, what, when, and where. So that describes our school. So when they open it, we want them to see, how did we start? And of course, we want everybody to know who we are. So you remember the picture when we all went outside? So we are going to be in the time capsule. So I'm putting all 300 students and the teachers in the time capsule. So that's gonna represent the whole school of ethics. So each class is going to come up, they're going to show everyone their objects, and they're going to tell us why they chose those objects. All right, second grade, do you want to start us off? We want to put in a picture of us when we haven't started our butterfly game. And we want to put a picture in was finished. We want to put in what second grade uses. We use computers, iPads, headphones, a pen, and pencil and paper. All right, do we have kindergarten? Can you guys come on up and show us what you're going to put in our box? Opera, we are placing our 
our program from this event in the time capsule. The um, program has the signatures of all kindergarten students. Thank you, kindergarten. First grade, can you show us what you have? This year we learned about leadership. We made a wordle that we thought was pretty good about leadership. We're gonna read you some words. Creative, friendship, inspiring, exploring, epic. picture that shows um, the whole school, that shows our class pictures in it. designing process, hatching chicks, at going to Tucker Leadership Lab, and yeah, in our class picture. <laughs> Yeah. 
everyone stand by. Stand up, stand strong, and stand together. This is a reminder of our school year and all the books we've read and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is things. Okay. Well, we wanted to place this in there because it's a reminder of you need to stand up and be strong and stand together rather than stand by and don't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> shape of cost of race cars and see how which one would work better.
asking for it to be yourself. Perfect is boring. Perfect is robots marching around. You are better than that. Like you just hang out everywhere. Being different isn't bad. It's cool. Figure out what is unique about you and let it show. Are you a good singer? Well, sing. Are you a good listener? Well, listen up. Are you shy? No problem. Some of the best leaders are quiet and thoughtful. The point is, be your crazy, funny, amazingly awesome self. Be, be epic! What do you have to do to truly be epic? To truly be epic, you have to think outside the box. Inside the box is ordinary, but you're extraordinary. So go the extra mile. Push yourself to learn more, do more, and be more. And all your brains are inside that present. And at Epic, every year we get to open up those presents and let all the awesomeness ooze out everywhere. Ooh. You might not have noticed, but things are crazy out there. But we're going to be all right because we're going to come up with new inventions and solutions. Before you know it, we'll be ruling the world and there will be no more stinking thinking. And what we'll be thinking? Outside the box. This year we have learned that if you work together, you can really accomplish so much more than you ever could on your own. Friends can help you lighten up the load and share the work. And make the journey a lot more fun. Learning to listen to one another and, to, and to value one another's skills. Ability. Ability. No, and opinions. Well, that's a skill that has to be practiced. Like to dance. <laughs> See ya. Learning can and should be fun. We used to think it was a teacher's job to make learning fun for us, but now we know that we are in charge of our own learning. If you are bored, you've got no one to blame but yourself. Because as imaginative, creative people, you are more in control of your learning experiments than ever before. Have to write a report? Boring! Make an Adobe voice and add your own illustration. Awesome sauce. Learning how to do those in Google and Fractions? You got this! Take a video of you explaining how to do the problem step by step. Booyah! Make, Make learning, learning fun and, and it won't ever seem like work. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting dismissed. Ever drive a race car? See you around the world! Well, neither of we. We might try someday. Taking a risk? You might just miss out, miss out on all of the great things that life has to offer. Seriously? What do you have to lose? Risk taking isn't something you do. It's a state of mind that says, Today I'm going to try something new. Climb every mountain for every stream. People say that kids' voices don't really matter. Day is coming. Well, we totally proved them wrong this year. We've spoken up about saving the wa um, world's water supply. We've spoken up about our Native Americans. We've spoken up about how to keep our healthy lives healthier and how to keep our buildings beautiful. We've spoken up about our um, city and how it's a great place to live. We also spoke up about community and our hunger in our community and why kids shouldn't go to bed hungry. So all those people out there who tell us that our day is coming, that one day that will make a difference. That one day, that day is today.
day. Speak up about the things that matter to you because the world needs your voice. Speak up! Ava lead us one more time in our new school song. Let's all 